Eric Hirsch. I'm a professor in the sociology department at Providence College. Uh, I'm actually the chair of the Homeless Management Information System Steering Committee in Rhode Island. Uh, I also oversee and I'm helping to implement the plan to end homelessness in Rhode Island. I'm the evaluator for all four of the Housing First programs that exist in the state right now. So many people would say I'm an expert on Housing First. I follow the family shelter crisis here in Massachusetts and I'm quite familiar with the situation that many families are facing. I think I understand what is happening here. I do believe that everyone from the governor on down, certainly Mr. Gornstein, I'm familiar with your career, you have the best of intentions. And the idea is that you are trying to move to a housing-based system and not a shelter-based system. I spend much of my life, literally, trying to implement this approach in Rhode Island. There's only one problem. You don't have the housing to implement it. You have, in terms of the cuts, you cut $40 million from the family shelter budget. You haven't even invested that much in permanent housing. You're now denying, just this month, you denied access to shelter to 408 out of 636 families. The resources that are available to them, in terms of your diversion, and your prevention resources, I agree, those are really good things to put money into. But they're now limited to $4,000 total of assistance in each case. That is not going to go very far in a housing market where your fair market rents are as high as $1,369 a month for uh, a two-bedroom apartment. You're only offering $6 million for rental vouchers that's about 500 vouchers. That's what you're denying, the number of families you're denying shelter on a monthly basis. It needs to be in the thousands to really have much of an impact. Doubling up, I think you're thinking doubling up is a solution. If that's a solution, why do one in 12 doubled up families wind up homeless compared to one in 200 in the general population? It's a road to homelessness. It is certainly not anything remotely like a stable housing situation. It's not that people are gaining the system. It's not you know, their fault. It's the fault of your system. You need to relax the shelter restrictions so you have the housing resources. You don't have the housing resources. Thank you.